please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEC scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 chemistry questionnaire for the undergraduate scholarships. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. Here we will do the third problem, questions one to three. The question reads, answer the following questions about ideal gas, where P is pressure, V is volume, and C is absolute temperature. First question is, which of the graphs A to F in the figure below shows the relation between P on the x-axis and V on the y-axis for a fixed amount of gas at constant temperature T? The second question is, which of graphs A to F in the figure below shows the relation between T on the x-axis and P on the y-axis for a fixed amount of gas at constant V? And the third question is, which of the graphs A to F in the figure below shows the relation between P on the x-axis and PV over T on the y-axis for a fixed amount of gas? The key to answering the questions in this problem is the ideal gas law. We recall that it says the product of the pressure and the volume of an ideal gas is equal to the product of the amount of gas in moles times the universal gas constant at times the temperature of the gas. So this temperature will be absolute temperature in Kelvin. And here we just write down P, volume, number of moles, universal gas constant, and temperature. Now let's look at this, this first question. It says, what is the relation if we set P to be X? So it's in the X axis, P equals X. V in the Y axis, so V equals Y. And the amount of gas, that's the N here, and the t is constant, are constant. So n and t are, are constant means that k, or rather nRT, this quantity here is a constant, a constant, a constant, could be represented by a quantity k. It's just a constant. And this is actually Boyle's law. So if you recall from chemistry, when the temperature and the amount of gas is constant, we are reduced to Boyle's law. So we, we have a relationship between P and V. So that's just an additional trivia. You don't need to know that to solve this problem. And so we replace P with X, V with Y, and NRT, NRT with K. And we solve for Y. So we just divide both sides by X. So we get Y equals K over X. And we know this from, from mathematics. This is the reciprocal function. And among the choices, that function is actually this bit here. So this will be the answer for one. Now for the second question, it says that the x-axis is temperature. So we have t equals x. The y-axis is pressure. So p equals y. And again, the amount of gas N is constant and the volume is also constant. And so we say that NR, NR over V, because NR and V are all constants, then K, which we define to be NR over V, will also be a constant. And again, this is reminiscent of Gay Lussac's law. And that is, that is the law that gives you the relationship between pressure and temperature given that all the others are all the other variables are constant again you don't need to know this to solve this problem and now we replace p with y because p equals y so p is replaced by y with y and then v is constant so let's keep it there and then n is constant so we keep it there r is constant then t is replaced with x so here we have this relationship. Now we divide both sides by V, we get this. And then we know that NR over V is again a constant, K of X. 
k, k times x rather. So y equals kx. And y equals kx is just a, a line that increases and has an intercept at 0. And again, that's just from algebra and analytic geometry. And so this y equals kx is actually this graph here. And so the answer is B. Now for the last question, it says that P would be on the x-axis, so P equals x, and our y would be the expression PV over T, so PV over T equals y. And we are told that the amount of gas N is fixed. So N is constant, and therefore N times R, because N and R are both constants, and R could be defined as another constant k. Now, PV over T, which is the Y here, PV over T, if we, if we divide both sides of the ideal gas law by T, we get PV over T on this side, and we get R on this side, and R rather on this side. And we know that PV over T is Y, so we replace this with Y, and this bit here is a constant k. So what we get is a constant function, Y equals k. And again, that's just a flat line on the xy plane. And that flat horizontal line is actually this big. And so the answer to this question is this. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya.